Hey everybody, it's Carrie Adam and welcome to this essential oils class. What is essential if you run specifically for moms who are runners? Uh, we're talking today about natural solutions to becoming a better runner and a better mom. Uh, I'm Carrie Adam. I'm a physiotherapist, a health and a running coach with runningmoms.com, which is an online running program. And I love all things outside, all things active, all things adventurous, all things natural. Um, those are the places and the things that light me up. And, and as a mom, I have two little boys. They're four and six. And, you know, we have problems every day. Sore tummies, sniffling noses, coughs, cuts, scrapes, bites, all kinds of things. So that's what got me into essential oils. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. But as a mom, I feel so empowered to have something natural from the earth that I can use to help these little guys get through all of this stuff and also help me improve my running along the way and improve my own health using as much natural um, options as I can in this world that's generally so full of, of toxics and pollutants everywhere we go. Um, so you are in the right place today if you are interested in learning what essential oils are, how they work, and how they can fit into your life naturally. If you want to boost your running, your health, and the health of your family. If you want to reduce the toxic load of life, if you want some natural options to manage all those little annoying health issues that come up every day when you have kids that I just mentioned, right? The scrapes, the rashes, the sore throats, upset tummies, coughs, colds, runny noses, husband snoring. <laughs> and if you want to sleep better, you guys, if you want your kids to sleep better or you know you need to decrease your stress, you're always overwhelmed and anxious. And I hear that a lot from my runners who are moms. Uh, you're in the right place if you're tired of getting sick and you're tired of your kids getting sick because you cannot miss any more days of work or miss any more of the runs on your training plan. You can't handle any more sleepless nights with sick kids and you cannot stand to see your kids suffering, feeling helpless because you've got nothing to offer them to ease their discomfort. And that is what I used to do when my kids got sick. They just had to suffer through it and we just hoped that it got better because I wasn't uh, pumping stronger medications in them I would just try to feed them and hydrate them and and let them sleep it off but now it's so wonderful to have something extra to give them that actually helps and to have them ask for their oils when they have a sore tummy or they have a sore throat or they have a cough like it feels so good to like give them something that's effective and works um, and is natural from the earth I love love that so who am I much you listen to me I'm Carrie Adam. Like I said, I'm a physiotherapist. I'm a health coach and I'm a running coach with Running Moms. Um, that's my little family. And last year, we spent almost a year living abroad in Costa Rica, trying to um, slow down life, reconnect to each other and reconnect back with myself and my running again. And, you know, that's where this, I've always lived a really healthy, adventurous, um, fun, outdoor lifestyle. But Costa Rica really got us as a family into that groove. We spent all of our time outside. We spent all of our time eating real food. We moved and, and I got to run and exercise every day as part of my life and part of our life. And we really got back to the basics of life. And I feel like we lived so much more closely with the earth and with nature and I loved that lifestyle in Costa Rica. So when I came home, I was, we were starting to plan to come home, you know, I, I started looking into essential oils and what could I do to keep this energy up? Because, you know, we would walk out in the morning and we would walk down to the pool and it was green and it was blue from the sky and blue from the pool. And it was, um, we were just always invigorated and refreshed and inspired and, um, and it was because our senses were on overload all the time, right? By being in nature and having that, that fill us up all the time. And when I was coming home, I knew we were going to be coming back to raininess and sickness because we spent so much time inside. And my son has asthma and I needed a way to manage that. Um, I needed a way to manage that naturally because going to the hospital was not an option for us if I could help it. I would do anything um, to help him get through that, those, those attacks. As soon as he gets a cold, um, he doesn't just get sniffles and coughs, it snarts, starts with sniffles and coughs, 
And then when it gets worse, his lungs go into constriction, he ends up in an as asthma exacerbation. And there is no choice but to take him to the hospital and pump him full of steroids um, and harsh inhalers uh, to open those airways up in emergency situation. Um, so now I was looking for options of what I can do right away because I didn't really have anything except for um, the harsh chemicals. So anyways, um, that's what got me thinking into this. And so now I use Breathe as soon as as it hits where he's got a tiny cough or a tiny sniffle or something, I'm putting the oils on him and I'm sure we've, we've decreased his, uh, our hospitalization at least twice since we've been back, um, uh, with his colds that he's come home with. Um, we also, there's also oils that help to, um, boost Im immunity. So I use those regularly because I don't want them to even get to that point. And I think, um, it's nice to have that, that opportunity. And then the other reason is that we are living in a small space and I did not, want to have chemical cleaners in here. We needed to decrease our toxic load. I watched this amazing CBC documentary on um, the toxic nature of our common cleaning chemicals that we use on ourselves. And I remember going in to clean the bathroom when I was you know, younger at living with my mom and like having to wear a mask and my eyes would get watery and my throat would hurt. And I did not, I do not want that stuff in my house. I don't want my kids around it. I don't want to be around it. The rates of cancer are skyrocketing. Um, the amounts of sickness is, it's too much and I need to decrease the toxic load of my family. And that's why we're doing this. And that's why I'm bringing this to you because I know that there's a need for this and I'm here to educate people about getting rid of that toxic load for you and for your kids. So why I created this, I want to empower you to take control of your health naturally. We're all busy moms who are running on chronic poor sleep, chronic stress, chronic anxiety, chronic low energy and poor eating habits. I want to teach you some very simple, safe and effective alternative options to get you back to feeling like yourself again. And I know we run because it makes us feel good, but we can't run all the time, right? Running is one piece of our whole healthcare plan. Um, and so are oils and so is eating the food that we eat and how our relationships and our career, these are all just different pieces of our healthcare, but oils are an important piece that I want to teach you about. Um, I created this because if I can teach you how to get better sleep, manage your stress, increase your energy and improve your overall health of you and your kids, uh, you are going to set yourself up to run well if you are sleeping and managing your stress. And I know that each and every one of you moms out there is not sleeping well chronically depleted and stressed because we're all so busy. Um, you will be able to, if you can manage those things, you're going to be able to keep up with your workouts. So you can get strong, you can get fit, you can gain more confidence than you ever thought possible. And imagine what could happen if your kids slept through the night. If you slept through the night, if you had a natural way to decrease your stress, you never got sick, you had a safe and effective natural treatment at your fingertips to manage all of your family's little aches and pains, and you always had the energy and motivation to get up and out the door for each and every morning run in your training plan. Um, do any of these issues sound familiar to you? And do you want to feel am amazing runners? If you said yes, then you're going to want to stick around for this talk because we are going to be talking about what essential oils are, how to use them, and then the top challenges and essential oil solutions for running moms, and then a few little extra tips for rest and relaxation that uh, I, that I've discovered on my essential oils journey. So we're going to start with a disclaimer that doTERRA essential oils do not prevent, treat, or cure disease. Your lifestyle choices can help prevent disease. Your doctor treats the symptoms and the, he fixes the broken pieces and your body cures disease inside of itself. So what are essential oils? If you've ever enjoyed the scent of a flower, you've experienced, you've experienced the aromatic qualities of essential oils. They're naturally occurring volatile aromatic compounds that are found in plants, the seeds, the barks, the stems, the roots, the flowers, and other parts. And they, they are essentially plants, right? They're what gives plants their smell. They're what protects the plants and they play a role in plant pollination. And that's how they get into your cells and they work as well to protect your body from harmful um, agents coming at it. Uh, the other thing about essential oils is that when you breathe them, they go into your nose, into your olfactory system, and they go up into your brain to the centers of the limbic system, the hippocampus, the pituitary gland. So they have direct impact on the memory systems in your brain, the memory function, because 
a smell can evoke a very powerful memory, right? Like you think of the smell of pine, you think of Christmas. I think of this when I smell pierogies cooking or some, or some kind of smell like that. I think of my baba um, and being a kid and I can feel that inside of me. Um, so they can evoke a very powerful memory, which provokes a very powerful um, emotion, right? Like when I think of my baba, I think of happiness and comfort. And when I think of Christmas, I think of my family and again, happiness and, and good times. And it makes me calm and, and feel peaceful. Um, the other thing that does is when it goes to the hippocampus and some of these other areas up there in your brain, they, it impact that directly impacts your um, pituitary gland and the release of hormones. So that smell coming up from these essential oils can impact uh, some of those natural automatic functions in your body like blood pressure, thirst, hunger, those sorts of things, hormone levels, sleep cycles. So certain oils will go and then they will help regulate some of the release of those. So there is a lot of evidence and if you want um, some links to the science just let me know and I'll send you to the science websites and there's lots of um, there's lots of scientific studies in PubMed, which is a very, it's where I learned all my stuff in physio. We did all kinds of stuff that was all out of PubMed. So these are real scientific journals that they're in. So uses for essential oils. There's three ways to use essential oils aromatically. Uh, that's when they're diffused in a little diffuser or when you, and then you breathe them in. It can be very stimulating or calming or soothing depending on the oil. Uh, it also can help cleanse and purify the air. So topically is when you rub it on your skin um, they can be applied for a safe massage. Um, they're really nice that way. They get into the skin really quickly and uh, they're very localized effect. They're great for runners. And we'll talk about which ones are good for those achy joints and muscles. Um, internal, you can take these essential oils in. And when I talk about taking essential oils in, I only specifically am talking about doTERRA essential oils because of their purity. I think I missed that, didn't I? I missed the slide there. That's my because of doTERRA's purity, when I talk about ingesting oils, putting a drop in your water, taking it in a capsule, I am talking about, um, or cooking with it, I'm talking about doTERRA because, why did I choose doTERRA? Because they are so pure. They're certified pure therapeutic, therapeutic grade. Um, they're third party tested. So this isn't just doTERRA telling you that they're pure. There's other scientific um, people studying them and testing them and making sure that what doTERRA says is in that bottle is actually in that bottle. And that's important to know. So they're natural. They're beyond organic. There's no artificial ingredients, no fragrances and no fillers. Something people always say to me about essential oils is that I'm sensitive to scents and they usually make me uncomfortable and um, sniffly and I'm allergic to them. And I say, well, these are not scents. These are plants. So they're very, they're very different. I'm very sensitive to scents and very, I've never been able to wear perfumes or those fancy creams that all the girls wear, anything. But I can use essential oils because they are so pure. Uh, I also chose doTERRA because it's safe. Like I said, it's free of fillers. It's, you can ingest them. Some of them you can't because they're just have parts of plants that aren't ingestible. So you'll have to learn through that as we go about um, which ones you can and can't take in. But um, there's, there's easy, easy ways to check. Um, and they're potent. They work. They are plants grown and harvested in their natural habitat. doTERRA goes to where these plants grow the best and gets it directly from that location. Um, and they're effective. They work. Okay. So like I said, oils are not, you're not going to start using oils and you're going to cure all your problems. Like there is no shortcut. There is no pill to fix you any one particular problem. It is like your health is, is a bunch of different things, right? If you're eating raw organic foods and you're still using toxins to clean your house, um, you're not going to be as healthy as you could be. If you start running, but you have an unbalanced diet full of processed food, your running is still going to suffer. Um, if you're training for a half marathon, but you're dealing with major stress at home and you're not sleeping, you're not going to run strong. Um, if you're constantly on the edge of injury and you're you're, you're likely struggling and you're, and you're running and throughout your days. So you need balance in all of these different areas. And I dislike the word balance as a mom because it's impossible to be balanced. Something is always, something's always got to give and something's always got to take when you've got, when you're a mom, but these oils are part of this overall plan, right? I've got a headache. I'm going to take peppermint. Um, I'm not sleeping well. Let's use lavender. Um, my muscles are sore. Here's deep blue. Like it's not going to fix all your problems, but it's a piece of your solution to your overall puzzle, right? So, you know, the fundamentals of a healthy lifestyle are eating well, exercising, 
sleeping, managing your stress, reducing your toxic load, informed self-care, understanding what you need to do to take care of yourself, proactive medical care. So knowing your symptoms, tuning into your body and learning what you need to make you feel better. Okay. So all of those are really important pieces of your healthcare puzzle. Um, so a question for you guys is what is holding you back from living a vibrant and healthy lifestyle? We all have this, we want to be healthy. We want to be fit. We want to be this. We want to be that, but you know what you want. Um, what is holding you back? Do you, and most of us know what's holding us back. We all know what we need to do, but a lot of times it's hard to do it day after day. So eating too much, exercising too little, not eating the right food under too much stress, overwhelm, anxiety. You have a lot of toxic load in your life or you have a chronic health issue or an issue that you're dealing with that you're trying to get through. You know, so what are your top health and fitness goals? So um, I'm going to come back to this at the end and I want you guys to reach out to me and talk to me and let's book you in for a one-on-one -on -one consult about your top health and fitness goals or struggles. Like what are you struggling with and what can we do to help get you through that? And that's where me being a physio, a health coach, a running coach and essential oils educator really can help you bring that together to help you achieve your health and fitness goals. Okay. It's not easy. It's really not, but um, we got to bring all these pieces together, you guys. And that's what I'm here to teach you about. So my favorite oils, I love this. I love this thing. I have an oil for that. And I feel like I'm always talking about oils in my training groups now that I really am learning about them and how they work and that they actually work. And I'm always recommending people will say, Oh God, I didn't get out for my run. I'm really stuffed up and congested. I'm like, well, do you have breathe? Are you using it? Get a diffuser and get that stuff going. So right now we're going to go through um, the top 10 problems that I see in my running moms uh, that essential oils can help you manage. And the first one is you can't get out of bed in the morning. You're tired. It's cold. It's dark. You need to energize your morning, refresh, energize, and focus. You've got peppermint and wild orange. These are two of my, this is like my favorite combination. Peppermint is amazing. All runners need peppermint. It's a pick me up. It enhances focus. It clears congestion, alleviates soreness, relieves headaches. Um, it is perfect in the morning to get you up and out of bed. And wild orange um, is it's a mood support. It's, it helps you lift your mood. It's invigorating. It's citrusy. It's good for immune support. You can put a drop in your water. It improves your hydration. You can help detoxify your body um, and the air when you put it in the diffuser. And you use this by putting a drop of each in your hand, rubbing it around first thing in the morning, struggling to get out of bed, taking it in. Oh my God. So good. Rubbing it on your neck. Okay. So there um, you're inhaling it. You're rubbing it on your neck topically and uh, yeah, you're, you're doing all three there. You're, and then you can put it in your water. You can put them both in your water and shoot it back and you're good. You're, you're up, you're energized. I love to put this in my diffuser in the morning and then I'll go for my run. And when I come back, my house smells amazing and I'm ready to go for the day. I feel amazing. Um, my kids like it too. Uh, citrus mint. So Problem number two, you are dehydrated and drinking too many empty calories. I see this all the time. Almost nobody drinks enough water. We need to be drinking more water. And often we don't think about it or we're drinking other too many other drinks that are just full of empty calories without even realizing it. Too much coffee. Just, you know, I tell people to grab a big glass of water and spruce it up, spice it up with something that's good. Like wild orange in, a, in your water is so good. Peppermint in the afternoon is amazing. Lemon, doTERRA's top selling oil is fabulous for the morning. Just one drop in there. A grapefruit is really good. Um, there's a citrus blend, which is a blend of all of these together. So good and lime. So um, just a good way to increase your hydration because you can give your water different flavors. Um, and again, it really helps in the detoxifying of your body. But again, the best way to detox yourself and detox your liver and your organs from all the crap that we eat is to drink lots of water. So if nothing else, this might remind you and help you to get more water in. Problem number three, we are sick too often. Kids go to school, they get bugs, they come home, they're sick, they pass them on to us and we're up and down with their sickness and that really, really, really affects our, um, affects our training, right? When we're sick, we can't work out and that sucks. So doTERRA has this wonderful blend called On Guard. It's got cinnamon and clove and a whole bunch of other amazing things in it. And um, orange and other oils, are, they're powerfully antibacterial, antiviral, 
and they're full of antioxidants. So they're wonderfully, they're a wonderful support for your body because it does a, a lot of the work your immune system would have to do. So um, this one is great. You can use it daily. I love putting, I don't know, 10, 20 drops in a roller bottle and filling it up with oil, coconut oil, and then it, it's in this little bottle with this little top and it rolls. So it's really great to put on my kids' feet every day before school because it supports healthy immune function, powerful antioxidant, kills bacteria. Um, so we do that. You also can put it in a drop in water and shoot it back as um, to get those anti um, antioxidants in to help boost your immunity. Uh, I use it when I get sick with some oregano. I put a drop of on guard, a drop of oregano, gurgle that back, swallow it, helps with sore throats. Oregano helps to kill everything in its path. So it's a really great uh, immune support when you need it. Uh, safe for kids on their feet when it's diluted. And it's so good that they have a whole line of products around it. Hand wash, laundry detergent, um, natural whitening toothpaste, which apparently is one of their biggest selling um, items. I've got it on order this month and I can't wait to get it. So I'll give you my feedback. Um, it's just, it's fabulous stuff. And apparently you can just, I do, I do this. I wash my hands with it just straight. We call that neat, just neat. And it cleans your hands like soap. Um, I do that between my clients. Uh, and a great recipe, a great immune recipe for those of us getting sick all the time um, is internally, you can do um, a little shooter, a quick immune boost shooter in a little shot glass. I fill it with water. I had two drops, or actually, I, yeah, two drops of on guard, two drops of lemon, one drop of maluca, one drop of oregano. Um, shoot that back twice a day until you feel like you're, you're getting better. You can also put it in a roller bottle and use it on your kids. Again, kids can't, you don't put it straight onto kids. You should have it mixed with oils, with just like a coconut oil or, or some kind of neutral oil. So in your roller bottle, you can put 20 drops of on guard, 20 drops of lemon, 10 drops of maluca, 10 drops of oregano. Keep it in that roller bottle, rub it on their feet, uh, rub it on their back when they start to get sick and um, we can use that too. It's really great just to keep in your purse. I love roller bottles. I just discovered them. They're awesome to just keep on hand. Problem number four, allergy season makes it hard to run. How many of you out there get allergies? Um, it's a really common problem for spring and fall running. Um, this is a very powerful allergy season combo. Um, in a small glass or even a shot glass, melt one teaspoon of raw local honey if you have it. And raw local honey can be really important. There's something about how it's made and what's in there that, that really helps you, your body, to fight um, the local allergens in your area. Put that in a warm, in some warm water, not too hot, just warm. Add two drops each of peppermint, lavender, lemon, and drink it back once or twice a day. As you're drinking it, swish it around again and then swallow uh, and again, remember, you can't ingest any other oils except doTERRA unless you check with that company. I don't, I can't speak to other companies. This is a super powerful allergy one. Make sure you write this down. Um, I'll have this all in a, ha in a package for you later, but take some notes if you need. Uh, problem number five is your kids aren't sleeping, so you aren't sleeping. <laughs> this is so common. And, and then a lot of moms still don't sleep. Even when their kids get sleeping, our brains are just going and going. We can't turn them off and we're not sleeping. So there's a lot of solutions to sleep, a lot of strategies to try, you know, not eating after seven, not drinking coffee after lunch, um, not doing your workout at night, doing your hard workout in the morning, maybe going through a nice mellow stretch routine at night or a yoga uh, just a gentle flow yoga at night, dimming lights, getting off your computer for a couple hours before bed because something about that screen um, really affects our sleep ability. But then you can also add some essential oils to that nighttime routine. And my kids love lavender. They're like lavender junkies. When they smell lavender, they just, it triggers sleep for them. So I put lavender, a drop of lavender, a drop of coconut oil, um, every night on their feet. They love it. They go to sleep so wonderfully and they're sleeping soundly and the same for me I love lavender. I will diffuse it after they go to bed. So I'm smelling that instead of drinking wine I um, I, I, I uh, diffuse lavender and I love it. It's just a calming soothing um, feeling that uh, is very powerful and then I feel like when I wake up in the morning I am rested and I don't feel like that um, if I don't use a lavender, my sleep is kind of broken up or I just don't get this like good quality sleep. Uh, for some people, lavender is not strong enough. They use vetiver, powerful sleeping, calming and grounding oil. They say don't give it to kids because it can give, or you need to be aware as well, it can cause really vivid dreams, but some people swear by it. 
women chronically depleted, chronic sleep problems, trying vetiver, and it doesn't happen overnight. Like you need to commit to a routine with this stuff. And when you commit to that, you might find it changes. But again, it's not going to change in one day. It's just a pattern that you need to develop that your body and your brain gets used to vetiver, lavender, and sleep. And then another great one is serenity. And I've heard as well, I don't use it, I just use lavender, but I've heard serenity is very powerful. It's a blend of, of different um, sleepy, sleepy oils and it calms the mind, relaxes the body and soothes the soul. You also can get it in a little capsule so you can diffuse it and put it on your pillow and you can take it in capsule form and get it right into your system. Apparently very, very good for sleep. Problem number six, mental cramp, or sorry, mental, that should be monthly cramps hold you back every month. So common in my runners. We get uh, exhausted at, at um, this time of the month. We have cramps, we have aches, we have pains. Digest Zen is a very powerful agent to help you with this. Aids in digestion, maintains digestive function. It's really good after you've had one of those big meals at, at, uh, at dinner and you just want to help with digestive function. If you have common... GI issues, you know, if you go for a run and um, and you struggle with the bathroom in the morning, digestion's a great one to use the night before your run. So you put it just a drop on your hand and you rub it on your belly um, at night, and then you do it first thing in the morning again. It just helps get things moving, gets things rolling, and it can be really helpful for runners, especially on race days. Don't go out on race day and try it for the first time, but it can be helpful um, for that for those. Um, that nervous GI system. Um, it also helps soothe menstrual cramps, really helpful. I use it, I don't get them that often, but when I do, digestion works every time. Can ease upset tummies and reduces the effect of bloating, gas, and indigestion. Again, it's not gonna cure all your problems, but it might help you manage a bit of your symptoms and help get in there and get things going. Because remember, the oils go right into your system and affect you at the cellular level. So they do actually help, but we need to watch what we're eating. We need to be in tune with what makes our bodies feel good and what makes it feel awful. This is just going to be one way to help you get through some of those issues while you're learning, while you're figuring it out. Um, and another one for women's health is Clary Calm. See, that's a roller bottle. Underneath there is uh, a little cap and it rolls. So you just have to um, see if I've got one here. I love roller bottles. They're the best. I've got this little cap and you just roll them and then you get the oil on you it's perfect it's pre-blended so it's not straight it's got um, a coconut oil in there and the thing about the coconut oil that i talk about it's called fractionated coconut oil the fat's been taken out so it's not greasy you can use it and you can get back to your computer without leaving grody residue everywhere love it so it's sort of a must-have if you're using oils is the coconut oil so Clary Calm is women, it's a woman, it's a women's blend that provides soothing and calming effect during women's menstrual cycles. So it balances hormones, eases aches and cramps, and it's something that is great to use any time of the month, not just during your period. Um, because remember I said those oils get in, they go up, they affect your pituitary gland and how your hormones are released, and it helps to balance that. So Clary Calm, whenever you're feeling frantic, I know when I'm frantic, I know when I'm anxious, I know when I'm moving too quickly. Clary Calm is great to just roll on, on here or kind of roll on your neck and just be aware of that crazy and kind of help tone it down because yes, um, I don't like being told I'm crazy, but I, I know what I can, I can sense it in myself and I, I have something to help me bring myself down. Clary Sage is another wonderful one. Clary Sage is in Clary Calm, it's, it, but it's a straight one. It's calming, soothing, and it has balancing Benefits for mood, skin, and hair, which I love. Clary Sage for me after after a, a run, especially when they're cold and it's rainy and grody out. I put Clary Sage, I keep it in my shower. I swear it's like a spa. I put it in my shampoo or my conditioner and I just, oh, it makes me feel so good after a long run. It's just like the spa in the shower. You know how good the shower feels after you have a cold, wet, rainy run? Well, put Clary Sage in there, you've got like an incredible experience at home in your own shower. Try it. Um, it's great. Uh, I ran out of that one so quickly. I need to get more. Problem number seven, chest colds hold up your training or you have asthma that's holding you back. Easy air. It's also called breathe. There's different names for some of these in Canada and the U S which is a pain in the butt, but that's how it is. So it's breathe or easy air. It clears, maintains, opens your airways for easy breathing. It silences snoring. I use it on my husband. I swear to God, if it didn't work, 
If I hadn't seen it myself, I would never have believed this works. When he's snoring, I rub this stuff on his big toe and I put it, I make him take, I rub it in my hands and I make him, I put them over his nose and he breathes and he knows what's happening, but he likes it. And it actually like stops his snoring or at least like brings it down four or five notches, which is so wonderful. Um, Easy Air helps manage congestion in your chest so you can stay up and running. Um, my son has asthma. This is what I use as soon as he's got a cold or as soon as I sense something's happening. Drop of Easy Air, drop of coconut oil. I rub it on his chest. I rub it on his back before school, as soon as he gets home, before bed. It's in the diffuser all the time when he's got, when it's cold and flu season and I'm sensing that he's got something going on because it keeps his airways open so that they don't get too small. And then, cause once they get too constricted, I have a problem that I can't solve unless I go to the hospital and get steroids. So I keep them open. It's such a powerful, powerful oil that I think every runner needs um, because we're always sniffly, chest cold, all this stuff. We need to keep those, air, those airways open if we want to run, right? Problem number eight, you have achy, stiff joints and muscles through after tough workouts. Uh, not uncommon at all. Um, deep blue is the ultimate soreness antidote. It's soothing and calming to soreness and discomfort. Um, deep blue is made up of oils that are anti-inflammatory. They promote healing. They have a soothing, slightly numbing effect, which feels amazing on a sore and achy knee or hip or back after a run, neck as well. Very, very powerful. It comes in different forms. You can get it in the roller bottle and just roll it out onto those sore, achy muscles. You can get it in the plain oil and you can mix it yourself and just lather it on. It's great for a massage with some coconut oil. Amazing. Um, and it also comes in a cream. So it's a whole bottle of the oil is put into just a cream. So it's really easy to access. You can get all around those joints. You can lather yourself up head to toe on this stuff. It is great for a massage. Um, it's really, really good, powerful stuff for runners. Um, and you can apply it to the bottom of your feet, around your ankles, to any other sore area to soothe the soreness, the achiness. It promotes circulation. It's great for muscle tension and headaches. It's really powerful. It's also very powerful for, for menstrual cramps to release the tension of those muscles. I also use that um, for menstrual cramps with the digest zen. I'll put them both on. Very powerful combination for menstrual cramps. Problem number nine, you want to get rid of the toxic cleaning chemicals at home. This is a runner thing. This is a mom thing. Whatever, I don't want I don't want that stuff in my life. So um, chemical free, antibacterial, environmental friendly, immune, immune supportive. Um, this is my non-toxic cleaning regimen at home. I use lemon. Um, it's uplifting, toxifying, cleansing, fresh, clean. It supports immune respiratory function. On guard, we talked about on guard before, how it's a cleansing. Uh, immune boosting oil and then you have melaleuca which is purifying cleansing antibacterial skin healing analgesic and antiviral and I put you know five to ten drops of each of those into uh, a cup or two of water and I use that to with with water and I'll put some vinegar in as well I clean my house I wash my floors I put that in the toilet with um, a baking soda bomb that's how I clean my toilet amazing way to get rid of toxic chemicals from your home. I do not use any more toxic chemicals. You can use just those and clean your whole house without having to wear that crazy mask and watery eyes and your throat sore. Uh, amazing. So lucky to have found those. Um, I think everyone should be doing that too. Problem number 10, you are stressed all the time. This is like number one for running moms. Number one reason we fall off of our training schedules because we are so stressed, overwhelmed, so busy. Again, oils are not going to fix your problem. I really think we need to all slow down. We need to all create the time in our lives to move, to run, because we know that it makes us feel better. We need to create that time to reconnect to ourselves. But it's nice to have something else in your life to help you calm down. Like I talked about, I get crazy in the morning when I'm trying to get everyone out the door. It's just like I feel my anxiety go up and I like to bring it down. So you have balance, which is a great, great one. Also good for sleep. It's a grounding blend. There's Clary Calm, which is a, a monthly blend. It's, um, it's I think we talked about it earlier. It's a monthly blend, but it also helps bring mood down, balance it in tune. We're going to talk about it in another one coming up, but it's a good one for stress and getting focused at the same time. Frankincense is the king of all oils. I love Frank. If nothing is working, 
you stop yourself, lock yourself in the bathroom, drop a franc on your hand, one on your tongue or above your mouth, hold it in there for five seconds, deep breathe, give yourself a minute. You are going to come from here to here in 60 seconds, guaranteed. Frankincense is an, an incredible, powerful oil that I'm not even talking about too much in this one, but uh, very powerful if you're stressed all the time. I love it when I'm doing a nighttime yoga session. I'll put frankincense in my diffuser with some lavender. Incredible. Just incredible for calming the stress. Um, and of course, lavender calms anxiety, soothes emotions, and helps sleep. Um, all of these are good for emotions and for sleep. Uh, moms, I, I just I can't stress enough how we need to take care of ourselves. Um, these are very powerful for you in combination to you doing other stuff that, that lights you up and calms you down, okay? Um, rest, recovery, and pick-me-up bonuses, you guys. Women, we need to relax and renew. We can't run all day long because, man, if we could, we probably would. <laughs> but in tune, this is my focus and get shit done oil. When my kids are gone, I've got to sit at my computer, I've got to work. Whatever it is that I need to do, in tune is a focus one. It is powerful. I love, love, love it. Amorous, patchouli, frankincense, lime, lang lang, sandalwood, roman chamomile, essential oils, carefully selected for their ability to enhance focus and support healthy thought processes. Love it. Um, it's great for kids, too, having difficulty paying attention, staying on task, sustaining focus during uh, school homework sessions. Um, awesome in the roller bottle. Again, I just roll it on the back of my neck. I roll it on my wrists, squish it around. Uh, I roll it on my temples. Um, I love it. Super, super good for focusing, getting shit done, lowering anxiety. Love it. We talked clear sage already, actually. Uh, it's the spa at home. Uh, it's uh, definitely a good one for women. Um, during menstrual cycles, if you don't have the mix, that Clary Calm pre-mixed one, Clary Sage is great. Again, awesome in the shower. Um, try it. <laughs> um, I think I'm out, but uh, let me know if you want to try some next time or order some. We'll send you a sample or just get one. It's incredible. Um, for that, what does that say? Yeah, so Clary, Clary Sage is great for creating spa at home, which we need because I never get to the spa. It will never happen. <laughs> Uh, so I do it at home. Peppermint, same thing. Treat for your feet. Peppermint is another essential oil for runners. I talk about peppermint all the time on my pages and with my runners because I use it for everything. Treat your feet, though, is what we're talking about here. You put a few drops in your running shoes. Oh, my God. Your, your feet are going to be invigorated and refreshed all day if you wear those shoes. But, you know, I love a roller bottle sometimes in the afternoon. If I've got my sandals on, I'll throw some peppermint. I'll roll it up and down my feet. It's amazing. It's a treat for your feet. Peppermint is also awesome just for inhaling and breath freshening, um, invigorating, inspiring. It's a good one for focus too. Peppermint just has so, so, so many um, uses. I love it. It's my favorite. Um, lifelong Vitality Support Pack. Support your body for maximum energy. This is a supplement pack. It's a trio. Um, we need to supplement. I'm not a nutritionist, but I know that we don't get everything we need from our food. It's impossible. Um, first of all, most of us are under eating. Second of all, sometimes we're eating crappy food and not even eating good food. So there again, we are missing out on the nutrients we need. We need to supplement with something. I like this one because it's got magnesium, which is great for runners. So many women don't have enough magnesium and we need that when we're runners because that gives us energy. Super important. It's in there. Um, you know, this is good for cellular inflammatory response and repair cellular energy metabolism as runners we have even more nutritional needs our nutrition is so 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 important and we do not pay attention enough to it um i can't stress this enough these are the supplements i use i love them um if you need more i can send you a link to to this pack so that you can look more in depth at what's in it but just know that um doTERRA does have a really great supplement option for you so a couple tips on essential oils and to improve athletic performance pre and post workout just a couple of ways in addition to what i've talked about um already but before any workout or therapy use deep blue rub like you know that your knees give you trouble rub deep blue on them and then do your run, come back and apply post-workout. It's going to give you amazing, long-lasting feelings of relief. It's going to be good. Don't use it to mask injury. This is not to mask injury. If you have an injury, you need to take care of it. This is going to help you feel good. If you've just got like achiness and stiffness, okay? Great if you've got arthritis, you wake up in the morning and you're stiff and achy, put deep blue on it. 
Uh, Pre-workout, some runners like to use peppermint, again, or breathe essential oil for clearing that airway. You know you've got a cold coming on. You know you have asthma that gets flared up when you go for a run. Uh, drop in your hand, breathe it in, have it in the freezer, whatever you need to do, great before your run. Peppermint's also a great pick-me-up before the run, like we talked about for the morning workout with wild orange and combination. Amazing. Um, so, you know, before you run, apply four or five drops to your chest five minutes before exercise or an event. Um, to improve your confidence and ease nerves before a race or event. Who has that, right? You get to the start line and you're like super nervous. Why? I don't know. I'm not trying to win. I'm just going for a run with all these people. But you get nervous for some reason. Balance is great. Any of those stress ones are really great. You know, put it in your hand, breathe it in before the race, calm yourself down and get out there. Awesome. Post-workout, place four drops of lemon into 16 ounces of water. Drink that back. Rehydrate yourself. Detoxify yourself. Get everything moving. A great body repair recipe when you are really stiff and achy. You can use deep blue, but a lot of people like to use lemongrass, white fur, and cypress as well. They're All three of these are really great um, oils for runners and for athletes. Lemongrass is supportive of all connective tissue, so really great around your joints with ligaments and tendons. Um, that are holding those muscles together when you're especially when when your muscles are getting sore the lots more stress goes onto those ligaments and tendons um, so this is great to put on your Achilles tendon if you got a sore knee on the front around the edges plantar fasciitis put it on the bottom um, uh, any bursitis areas that sort of thing post-workout White fur is wonderful for rejuvenated muscles and helping overall feelings of exhaustion. So better for the big muscles, drop a white fur, drop of um, coconut oil, rub it on those thighs, on those big muscles, uh, your hamstrings and stuff. Great if you just want to use it independently. And then cypress is good for circulation, flushing, flushing toxins out of the muscles. So again, big muscles. Um, um, Raynaud's who can't run in winter because your hands get too cold. Cypress, cypress. Put that on five minutes before you head out, drop of cypress, um, drop of, of oil, rub them in, get ready, and it should help to increase the circulation so you can keep that heat up when you're running outside in the winter. And then a good body repair recipe, if you just want to keep it in your pocket in a roller bottle, 30 drops of white fur, 20 drops of cypress, 10 drops of lemongrass, and a 10 milliliter roller bottle, top it off with fractionated coconut oil, roll it directly onto that area of muscle soreness or tension or joints. Uh, really awesome to have with you. Just nice to keep in your pocket too. Um, again, Deep Blue does a lot of the same things, but sometimes it's nice to try different things to find what works best for you. And I love this. I got a few um, of the women I know who love essential oils, and I kind of asked them like why you love it and, and tell me a little bit about it. So this is Jacqueline. She's a holistic nutritionist, personal trainer, crossfitter, runner, entrepreneur, and mom from Smart Fit Training. And she wanted to find a more natural way to help her headaches and she was given a sample of the deep blue rub and it helped her headaches and her muscle pain which was awesome uh, she uses e I use easy air for my kids and it clears up congestion and helps with coughs I use lavender at night for my kids in the diffuser and at the bottom of my feet and I have sore knees and I rub frank frankincense and deep blue oil into them twice a day which helps a lot and once you get to know the oils you can start to mix and mingle them and find what combination works best for your body because they are different for everybody I also put a drop of lemon in my water every morning to aid with digestion and support my liver. And this is Brandy. She's an entrepreneur, runner, and mom, and she loves essential oils as well. And peppermint helps my airways stay open while running, biking, and swimming has increased my fitness level, and I am forever grateful for it. Again, it increases her fitness level because she uses it. It opens her airways up. It allows her to get her training in, and then her fitness goes up. It's not the oil. It's what the oil allows her body to do, and that is awesome. Uh, her husband's favorite is Melaleuca for everything cuts, immune support, sore throat. Aiden loves his rollerball of lavender. And Evan loves, loves a combination of lavender, vetiver, and frankincense to help him sleep. So cool. Um, so how do you get these oils into your life, you guys? I went through a lot. If you want to reach out and chat with me, we can get on, on a call and we can talk about your unique issue. And I can help um, come, come up with a health plan for you and how oils can fit into that. And then... When you're ready to purchase, there's different ways to get these oils into your life. There's wholesale or retail. Almost nobody buys retail. Um, almost everyone buys wholesale. It's like Costco. You pay a membership fee. It's good for a year. Um, and you get all the oils at discounted prices. You also can get points back um, for free oils, which is awesome. It's kind of a complex 
process. It took me a long time to understand this, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. Just know that you can buy them as a one-off, but almost everybody who buys one buys more, so you're better off just to go wholesale right off the hop. Um, and to get free oils, you have to. There's a monthly program. The great thing about the monthly program, you don't have to buy the same thing every month. You can get this oil this month, you can get that oil that month, and then you get your shipping back in points. And um, there's different amounts you have to buy to get your shipping back, but you get to keep your points along the way. And there's, if you spend more, you get more points. Then you can use them for free oils, and I get tons of free oils. And um, if you spend a certain amount, I think it's 125 every month or um, something you get a free product every month, which is like awesome. This month I get a free rosemary and I can't wait to get rosemary. I wanted to get rosemary. It's one I probably wouldn't buy myself. So it's a really great way to try these fun, different oils. It's awesome. I love it. Super fun. I don't buy anything, but I love getting my little oil package every month. There's always so many fun goodies to try and share with my family. It's like a really fun hobby on top of being a really great way to empower me to take better care of my family, which is why I love it. Um, and then the best way to get started is with a starter kit. doTERRA's put together some starter kits to help um, you get tons of discount off of that on top of the wholesale discount. These starter kits include your wholesale membership and then you get everything at a really, really super discounted price. And I hopped in because I knew when I learned to do essential oils, I wanted to learn these. I wanted to use them, like really use them. I got the home essential kit. It came with the wholesale membership, the diffuser, and 10 of the most popular oils. I learned them one by one by one, and it was awesome. I, I definitely recommend if you know that you want to get into using oils for your running, for your family, that is the way to go. And then there's there's other kits that are a little bit more, and there's kits that are a little bit less to help gauge you getting in and out or getting started. Um, and I would love to host a class. I do this online. But if you're in my neighborhood and you want to host a class, let me teach to you and your community, your workplace, your school, um, your friends, your church, whatever. I would love to come and host a class because the best way to experience these oils is to actually get them in your hands, on your body, tasting them so that you really get a sense and feel of the oils. They are incredible. Um, I do the best I can in these online presentations. But um, that's the best way. So if you want to host a class, I always have a wonderful gift for you. And um, just let me know. Reach out, message me, um, and let's get set up uh, teaching a class. So you guys, that's it. That's a lot. I know it's a lot. There is a lot to these oils. But again, when you get them and you decide to learn how to use one, use it in every way you can. And the next one, use it every way you can. Every time some ache or pain or issue comes up, just think, which oil could I use for that? look it up, get a recipe and try it. And you're just going to naturally learn and naturally remember and love it because it's effective and it's natural. It's powerful. It's awesome. So how do you guys see oils fitting in your life? Just let me know underneath there. Do you see yourself as a user, someone who's just going to order some essential oils and start to use them for your family? There's other ways to, to get into essential oils as well. Do you see yourself as a sharer, someone who's excited about using essential oils and you want to share the idea with your friends, you want to hold classes and you want to tell other people. When these oils work for you, you naturally want to tell people about them and share them with other people because how can you not? Like you see someone struggling with a sore throat or with congested airways and you're like, you need to try this. And you just, you naturally want to share. The other way, do you see yourself as a builder? Do you want to teach classes? Are you excited about these oils and natural health? And do you want to build a business or earn part or full-time income for your family um, by sharing these oils, these gifts with other people. And there's a, a lot of training if you want to do this. I would love if you join my team. I'm always looking for, for health-conscious, um, inspired women who want to share and build and grow and build a life different than maybe the one you have of 9 to 5 or maybe this is just something you want to get started on the side of that and see how it grows. I am more than excited to have you join my team. I love, love teaching about health, about um, natural health care, about running and fitness. And I would love if you join my essential oils team. It would be super fun to work with you. Um, and it's taken me a lot to get to the point right now with this, but um, I'll tell you, I love teaching classes. I love reaching out. I love talking about you. So if you think that's you and you think you want to try to grow a business and you want to live life by your design, get in touch with me and let's talk.
So thank you, you guys. Do you have any questions? You can email me through Facebook. You can email me at Carrie at runningmoms.com. That's Carrie, C-A-R-E-Y at runningmoms.com. Uh, book a free essential oil consult with me. Let's talk about those three issues. Remember at the beginning I asked you, what are your top health and fitness goals or what are your top three challenges? And let's work you through that. Are you not sleeping? Are you always sick? Do you get headaches? Like, let's talk about it. I want to book a consult with you. Uh, and then there's my website there. If you want to go, that's how you order them. You go to the website. If you want to just buy retail, you go to shop. If you want to become, get a membership, you go to join and save and become a wellness advocate. I think you can get wholesale or you can become a wellness advocate and share. Um, I'd love to talk with you, you guys. It was really fun for me. I love, love, love teaching these courses, talking about running, about adventures, about travel, about how to educate our children the way I see I want my kids to be raised. I love talking essential oils with you. So thanks for listening to me. Thanks for being here. Um, and uh, get in touch with me. Have a great night.